All right, welcome back. So guys, uh, I'm waiting for a nightfall to summon the Eye of Cthulhu. And in the meantime, I've built um, what they would call a sky bridge. You can see it's uh, pretty big. And uh, what you would use this for is for faster transportation. Just going through the scenery faster without encountering any mobs. You can see the crimson here and I think this is a um, floating island. We'll explore it at some point. I don't know what this section with withered trees is. The dungeon maybe? I don't know. Maybe you, maybe you could let me know. The desert. This is a floating island in the form of a cloud. I've explored it a bit. And this is where I where I've stopped building it for now. At some point I'd like to reach the ocean, which is at the edge of the map, and start fishing as well. I've built it with dirt blocks because you can use this to plant trees, grass, stuff like that. You can see already some vegetation growing here. And also to the left, um, I'll probably use some mud blocks, so you can you can plant mushrooms on mud. Uh, when you build a sky bridge, you should be careful uh, because you will encounter harpies. These are some mobs that have 100 health, and um, they hit pretty hard. We'll probably encounter some at some point. Uh, regarding the Eye of Cthulhu, I'm going to use this suspicious looking guy to summon uh, it. You can also craft uh, this, this item which summons the boss on command by using I think 5 lenses. And by looking at the map, I do, I do have right next to, to my home a crimson altar. This is the equivalent of demonic altars in the in the demonic the corruption worlds. I'm, I spawn on a crimson world, and you can use this to craft uh, suspicious-looking eyes uh, by using lenses. Lenses are dropped by the demonic eyes, which uh, float around during the night. So let's see if we can encounter any harpies here. I've crafted the um, next armor level, it's the tungsten armor in my world, uh, it's the equivalent of the silver armor, it gives me well 16 defense with uh, other items that I have on me, which also give defense maybe, oh so here, here you see the harpies, they throw these feathers at you, and also they um, they can push you off the ledge if you're not careful. So they're a bit like the um, like the bats we've encountered in um, in the caves, right? So you see this, uh, this plant is uh, similar to what would grow on the ground in the crimson because we're already above it. There we go. And you can see the mobs trying to get me but they cannot uh, go past the dirt blocks. Okay, so um, regarding the Eye of Cthulhu, the first time you can get him to spawn is by uh, getting five Hard crystals. If you use them, you get 20 extra life per crystal. And once you've used the fifth crystal, you have uh, 200 life. And then the Eye of Cthulhu will spawn at night. There is a chance of 33%, so one in three for him to spawn the first night. Uh, you'll just have to wait. But you can ask the NPCs in your house. For example, the merchant says something like uh, he feels an evil presence watching him, something like that. So then you know that uh, the, the Eye of Cthulhu has spawned. And he appears in about an hour game time. So about in one minute or so. I'll show you the fight. 
once uh, once there will be night and also you can use the the Cthulhu to to spawn him also only at night Okay, so I've actually dug uh, my way down to the Crimson Altar showing on my map. This is the equivalent of the uh, Demonic Altar in a Corruption World. And you can use this to craft the, the suspicious looking guy which summons the Eye of Cthulhu on command. Uh, you use six lances for that. So let's craft one piece. Now I have two. So we can actually summon uh, the bots twice this night. And we can farm him for materials. The boss does drop Crimtain. You can see I've used Crimtain to make this bow with 23 range damage. That's quite a lot. And later on, of course, uh, my target would be to craft the Crimtain armor, the full set. Mm, I'll see if I can skip the gold armor altogether. I don't have enough gold ore for it right now. So next up, I'll go and summon a boss and we'll fight him on the sky bridge. You'll see it's quite an easy fight. So I've used the um, Eye of Cthulhu and it says Eye of Cthulhu has awoken. And you hear a growl of something. Okay, so I guess we won't fight him on the bridge. Let's see. Oh, so in the first phase he tries to get on top of you and um, attack you it's not the best place to fight him actually and he also summons demon eyes i guess he summons more in the um, in the expert mode it's really not what i intended <laughs> oh. it's really not what i intended let's see if i can just uh, go upwards and fight him on the sky bridge. <laughs> oh dear, here's the sky bridge. Yeah, okay, okay, that's better. And it tries to get on top of you and um, charge at you. And then in the second phase, he will um, turn into some sort of mouth, tries to come and bite you. Uh, really with this armor I don't get too much damage so I hope I won't die <laughs> it's kind of a brute force method to be honest but hey it works okay so now he changes into this eye this uh, this mouth excuse me and, uh, and he tries to charge at you again I do like the sounds uh, it's really intimidating so where is he now okay. Okay, the bridge is over. I'm at half life. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. He's almost gone, guys. He's almost gone. There we go. Let's use it again to summon him again. There we go. I guess you can also summon him twice, I'm not sure, so you can fight two at a time. You can see him on the map coming. So now at least we're on the sky bridge. It's all good. So in the first phase he doesn't charge directly at you, so you can, uh, you can switch sides. And the demonic eyes here also drop lances, so it's all good. These arrows are going down, the number of arrows I have is going down fast, so... I have to craft some more at some point. I don't know if I can get better projectiles for my bow right now. The music also changed. How many lenses do I have now? Only two. Okay. So the drop rate for lenses isn't the best. Whoops. Whoops. 
So you can see it's quite an easy fight if you if you're over geared for for him at least, uh, like I am. So what does he drop? Uh, you see, we, we have this Crimtain Ore, so we can go and make bars out of it. Uh, lesser healing potions, okay, tungsten ore, and this this I already had. So basically, we would farm him for Crimtain. As you may recall, I've tried to mine Crimtain, but I guess uh, I need a better pickaxe for that. So let's just use the ice mirror to get home. And let's see if we craft some cream tain. Do we already have some cream tain bars? Yes, we do. And one more cream tain ore. And we go here to the forge. You can also do yeah, swords out of this. Flesh catcher, okay. So what does the tendon do? The tendon bow need cream tin bars ten, cream tin bow eight, cream tin bars. Oh, that's okay. So let's uh, let's uh, craft all the cream tin bars we can. It does require three ores per bar, of course. And let's just see if you want to craft armor. Yeah, you can also. This is a this is a yo-yo, I guess. Flesh catcher, but I don't see any crimson armor. See only only weapons. Only weapons. Cream tain brick. Yeah, I guess this is when you when you get so much cream tain that you don't uh, you you can't do anything else with it. Right, so I was expecting uh, cream tail armor, but I guess I'll go for the gold armor next. And let's see, you you get a, uh, a fishing pole. You can also craft with eight bars. And the bow, 20 range damage, and I think this has a modifier. Yeah, it has extra damage, which is okay in my book. It does have this... Um, X, I guess. 23 melee damage, a sword, also 23 melee damage, and archery, which is which is a yo-yo, I suppose. Quite nice. Okay, guys, so this has been it regarding the Eye of Cthulhu, and I will be interested in um, starting to explore the Crimson first, see what trouble we can get into there. And a bit later on, I like to get to the ocean and start fishing as well. I do have a fishing rod here, a reinforced fishing pole. I think I made this out of iron. It has 15% fishing power. And as you've seen, the flesh catcher, I think it's called, uh, made out of uh, cream tain. It had 22% fishing power. I don't know what that means, actually. It probably improves the chances of you to, to fish something. We'll have to see. Okay, so I'll make another short video going to the Crimson for this part of the series, guys. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, welcome to the Crimson. You've seen the background change. So the Crimson was introduced um, after Terraria 1.0 was released, I think in 1.1. And it's an alternative to the, uh, the Corruption biome. It's basically the same thing, it's considered an evil biome, quote unquote. And um, in the hard mode, after you defeat a certain boss, uh, we'll fight later on, uh, it actually spreads. And the Dryad NPC, which, um, which spawns after you defeat the Eye of Cthulhu for the first time, actually gives you a status update on... Um, how far the, the corruption or the crimson has spread in your world. So I'm not really sure uh, what we'll find here on the surface. Again, a, a face monster. Uh, now it's he's no challenge for us. No problem. And uh, well, I actually have a lot of gold on me from the from the boss. So um, we'll have to be careful not to die in any silly ways but this being Terraria will probably do at some point at least 
So what do we have? Face monster, we have these Crimeras floating around. Uh, blood crawlers, these are like some spiders. Okay. And we also have these vines, which take out of our health, so we have to dig through them. No problem. Now, the point of the crimson is um, you have to destroy some uh, demonic hearts, I think they are called. These are the equivalent of the shadow orbs in the corruption. And uh, you have to use explosives to destroy them, I think. You can't destroy them in any other way. And once you destroy three um, demonic hearts or crimson hearts, I'm not sure how they are called, you will spawn the boss for, for the crimson, which is the brain of Cthulhu. So we fought the eye of Cthulhu, now we'll, we'll fight at some point the brain of Cthulhu. <laughs> And in the corruption, you have uh, the Eater of Worlds, which is uh, a worm made out of um, 50 segments you, you fight individually. Okay, so we have a lot of cream tain here, but we cannot mine it with this pick. So I have to read up on it, or maybe you can tell me in the comments what the kind of pick I need to actually mine cream tain. Uh, I I do guess that you can make cream tain armor, but uh, but I'm not sure how at this uh, this point. And I guess the uh, crimson hearts, crimson hearts, demonic hearts. I guess they were called crimson hearts. Uh, can be found underground. So starting in the next part of the series, we'll start digging underground for that. But it's kind of a pain if I cannot. Uh, farm for crimtain so i'll just go through i'll go into the caverns at some point and um, yeah we'll see what we'll encounter do you remember this is the first time uh, i'm playing this game so i'm always encountering something new and the game does throw a lot of uh, new things at you at each turn so what is this Dirt blocks, that's good. I'm just skipping all the dirt blocks I get actually, so I can expand the sky bridge I'm building. See, it's quite long, it's quite long. And um, I'm not sure if I can see the map itself. Yeah, okay, so you see the sky bridge is, this is where I spawned initially, somewhere here. And I'm almost at the end of the map, but this is a medium world, so it does, uh, it does take a while. I don't know if these uh, these vines will grow back. Lots of new items, deathweed. Let's see if we can get to the other side of the... Actually, where am I now? Oh, so you see I'm almost out of it. If you remember from my spawn point, I also have uh, Crimson to the left after the snow biome. But I've started to the right. I mean, in, in most platformers like Super Mario, the, the character is to the left and uh, just goes to the right. So I found it the, the natural way of going through it. So we'll uh, start exploring these caverns in the next part of the series. Let's just see what happens if you get out of here what uh, what else do you encounter oh yeah i i fell to my death here because uh, it was the only way to see which biome i'm landing in so i intentionally fell to my death uh, in some points here and uh, here as well just to see which biome i i land in so i know where i'm going this is still crimson but it's flat now and can I can I farm this cacti? Uh, can I use the axe maybe? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So cactus. I know that uh, people are going also to the desert biome. Oh, so this is uh, the desert biome actually. And they farm cacti for something. I don't know for what. We'll have to to find out. Uh, 
so we'll just leave the the mobs to come after us okay so now we're in the desert this is an ant lion okay so now the background change as well a vulture pretty standard so from what i understand people are coming to the desert to farm cacti but this uh, this has been pretty short this has been pretty short because i also have desert here so you see these these are repeating i really wouldn't like to die here because then i have to run back to my corpse and get my money back so this is again a forest biome is it yeah i guess so i haven't encountered the jungle biome yet uh, i don't know about the dungeon as i said to the right these withered trees thing Maybe it has something to do with the dungeon. Let's explore it real quick. And see what happens. Okay, piranha, no problem. So here I also fell to my death. Yeah, I think this is the jungle actually. judging by the uh, the music so tribal tribal vibes something like that let's see yeah this this is the jungle jungle slime okay so this is good to know in the jungle we'll fight a boss called uh, the queen bee so if we go underground we'll uh, we'll encounter beehives stuff like that Jungle bats. Oh man, there, these bats are everywhere. All kinds of bats. They're so annoying because they push you off the ledges of cliffs. Okay, okay. Wow, one gold. Just by killing a bat. Okay. That's nice. So really, you can, you can go wherever you like with this gear and uh, do whatever you please, it's okay, really. But I think I'll stick to the crimson for now and farm these, uh, these hearts. Can I get this butterfly? Ah, yes, purple and purple butterfly. So many kinds of critters in this world. And um, yeah, I'll stick to the crimson. I'll try to destroy these crimson hearts or whatever they're called and try to summon the brain of Tulu at some point and then we'll uh we'll see we'll see what we feel like doing maybe i'll want to explore the jungle some more okay guys so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did uh, please let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next video as always i'm posting videos every two days so uh, this video will come on, uh, come on on, uh, yeah, a Tuesday, and then the next video will come on Thursday. You can already see the uh, beehives here, but we'll save some for later. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.